I'm going to demonstrate deep pressure therapy. I've had a little bit of a rough day um, today so far, and you can tell Ollie's nuzzling me up and down my body, trying to help me out. We'll see if I can get him to do some deep pressure therapy. All right, Ollie, come on up. Good boy. Now lay down. There we go. Move over. There we go. So this is deep pressure therapy. Ollie is laying down on top of me. I don't really need this deep of pressure therapy right now, so he's kind of not into it. But generally, he lies on top of me and provides this really strong sense of staying in time and place where I actually am. It's a lot like people with autism often use weighted blankets to help them. And so the, the pressure of his legs and body on top of me um, really helped me to kind of focus myself, realize where I am, and connect with my dog. I'm also petting him, which is not just petting. It's also a very intense feeling where I'm really stroking the individual hairs and trying to bring myself to be just one with my dog and not stressed out or anxious or anything like that. So, okay, I'll link it up. If I'm in a store or someone's house or I need to have deep pressure therapy and I'm sitting, Okay, Ollie. Come here. Well, I know you don't think I need it, but I need you to demonstrate. Come here. And down. There we go. So he does the same thing whether I'm sitting or if I'm um, laying down. And again, he's saying I'm not really anxious enough to need this right now, so he's kind of complaining. I hope that helps explain a little bit what deep pressure therapy is about.